Saturday morning. This is, oh, it's the 21st of January already. I'm gonna try out my brand new yucky 30 millimeter brush today. Um, more to the point though, I was very happy to hear that our Jeff has had a, a successful shave. Only about his third or fourth straight razor shave. Um, with Gary's uh, a little razor. Now, it was a, a Sheffield 6.8, so that's what, 20 millimeter? Um, old Sheffield, and uh, of course it was on a cortical edge. I shaved with it, and it was very, very good. But then I also shaved with, if I may show you, this fella, which is exactly the same period. This is, of course, uh, a Bengal. And uh, again, that one I shaved equally well. I believe that one was a, a Jane that age. But what's been surprising to me is that the horrible gold dollars, which I've given out to Jeff to try, this one is the original gold dollar, which I modified. As you can see, it's got a, a square point. And this one was on a 20K synthetic Suhiru edge. And actually I found, you know, shaved quite well. I'm afraid um, Jeff didn't get on with it. Return it to me and I checked the edge and again, um, if it won't HHT, there's something wrong. So my plan in future, to anybody who wants to borrow one, is if you've got it with a good HHT, it probably doesn't pay to strop it before you shave because it's already got a good edge. And be very careful stropping it afterwards. Anyway, um, this is only part of it. Here's uh, the standard, as you can see, with their lovely Chinese in painted inscription on. Here's the two standard um, gold dollars, Ta -da! Uh, which both I and Jeff tried. Now, these had um, not very great success, to be, to be fair. Um, I don't know why they HHT perfectly, but they were draggy. And those were on uh, a JNAT uh, edge, my, my own JNAT, which is probably, it's an Asaki, it's probably no bloody good. Anyway, that wasn't a very happy success for me or for Jeff. So I think the obvious thing is there, leave gold dollars out unless you really have to. Great for practice, very useful for trimming your hedge with, but not for shaving. Anyway, I'm gonna try, just to prove to myself a point, I'm gonna try a couple of strokes with the returned uh, gold dollar from Jeff. And this one is the the square nose, which I customised myself. So, as you can see, that's not your normal gold dollar 66. That's, uh, again, is it's on a synthetic edge, 30K. Let's see. Yeah. Mm, it's all right, I've had better. Um, now let's try what I did the other day which is this lovely little Bengal, which is the, uh, um, again, <laughs> this is not my edge though. This is someone else's edge. Oh no, this will be better. Yeah. Not hugely, but as you can hear, it's a deeper hollow grind than the rather crappy little uh, Chinese gold dollar. And, Everything just takes getting used to, I suppose, but I would say that this Bengal used a totally different sound when you're shaving. It's still a tiny bit draggy, not exactly perfection. However, what have I got here? I honed this only yesterday. This is a very late Philharmonica double temple, um, probably 1970s. But um, you can always tell it's got the late scales. It's got not the most highly polished finish to it. Uh, a very good finish to it, but this one uh, was new, old stock, but had a, a flat on the edge. And the actual quality of the edge, it was a rubbish edge. It was really very, very rough. So I've put it to the stones. I'm going to try now. 
Yeah, chalk and cheese. Yeah. That is absolutely beautiful. As Gary and others have stated quite rightly, you, can, uh, you can't really go wrong putting any edge on a, gold, uh, on, a, <laughs> on a Philharmonica of that period. Yeah. Smooth as a baby's bum. Look at that. Just with one stroke. So yeah, um, for my own personal preference, I'm gonna to stick to uh, what I know, which tends to be deep hollows, preferably Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> preferably Philharmonica and uh, I'll still practice anything else that comes my way but I would certainly say if you lend out a razor to somebody that isn't uh, a totally expert a little bit new to the subject the warning should be don't really go mad on stropping because stropping in itself is a bit of an art and if you get it wrong you'll actually blunt the edge and none of the returned razors that uh, Jeff tried would pass HHT until I'd gone over them again. In fact, usually a little touch of the old green, if I can find it over here. Little touch of the green compound, the CRX uh, chromium oxide, usually will bring it back instantly. Only about 12 strokes will do it. But I would not say that was a golden rule. I would still say if a razor has a very good edge and it's HHTing perfectly, then leave it, just shave with it, don't bother stropping it. Anyway, oh, that is nice. I'm going to um, continue having a little shave. Yeah, yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> um, this is my new baby. Um, I've had it for a few months, but I, I didn't bother putting a new edge on it because I just like looking at it. Anyway, um, chaps, no words of wisdom from me. Uh, I'm not wise. Just bear in mind, if you're going to go for a gold dollar, you better be bloody good at honing and very good at stropping because they're not very good razors. Anyway, see you all. Bye. Thanks for looking.